Welcome to Some Shit We Like, episode number 234. We are here with a very special guest, Bryant. Yay. Special guest star. Yay. So, uh... Two snaps and a Z fucking <laughs> Snap your fingers. <laughs> so welcome to the show where we talk about movie news, video games... Every weekend on Saturdays, sometimes Sundays, around this time, uh, we put up the full show on Tuesday on MP3 format, and then we put up each uh, topic on YouTube.com slash some shit we like. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with Friday, the full show. Let's get into this shit. 99% of the time, the full show goes up on Friday. Sometimes, Sometimes it goes up on Saturday morning. It goes up on Saturday, depending if someone forgets. Hey! No, I'm not saying but That's not putting blame on you I'm or myself. Saying. because Sometimes it happens. It happens to me or it happens to you. Sometimes I don't post Thursday's show on Thursday, and I'm like, oh shit, I better post it before I post the full show on Friday. But hey. Yeah. But last week I had an issue because I was... You were not I was home. Not home. You were somewhere with bad upload speed. <laughs> Very bad upload speed. <laughs> what uh, were you doing last week, Rick? Why weren't you at speaking home? Speaking of last week, why wasn't yeah. I home was because I went to VidCon. Nice. Uh, you and your boy Christian Burns? Yeah. Fuck that dude so bad. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I went to VidCon. Uh, I went. This is my third VidCon? Yeah, it's my third VidCon. I look at my badges yeah. over there. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is my third VidCon, and uh, it was a lot better than last year, actually. Yeah. I felt like it was a lot better than last year. Um, more opportunities. Uh, it looks like they took into a lot of the comments from last year about how uh, people want to talk to each other more, network yeah. more, as, at least among the creators. Mm -hmm. So uh, every like other hour in one specific room, they've had like networkings for... Um, Comedy people, sketch people, uh, film, science, education channels, things like that. And uh, that was really helpful this week, this year. I was going to say, from what I saw this year, you know, from the outside perspective, it seemed like there was a lot less of, like, the mid-tier YouTuber. Like, it seemed like there were some big ones, you know? There were a lot of big like, ones. A lot of big yeah. ones, but then a lot of small lot of YouTubers. Well, yeah, small but small not, things. like, because in years past, there had been a lot, of that, a lot of that middle ground. Yeah. people youtubers were going and it didn't seem like there were that many there this year what's your take on the whole have you did you see any of that controversial stuff that with the guy Bill was talking guy? about yeah there's one guy with i was security. right there oh you were there i was yeah. right there i saw, I saw that guy was complete ass yes. like, yeah it's great now that the security guard has more followers than that douchebag well yeah. he did he end up redoing an instagram account because he deleted his account probably he did he, he, yeah he, he probably shamed the shit out of him yeah so he, he yeah um yeah he deleted his account he well he said he had issues with his account no bull, and he no. created a new one until he uh -oh. tried to turn this off he deleted it because he was getting harassed probably that's why really much. um but but yeah, I was actually not far from it at so, all because I was standing right in front of there. With so there is an instance or an incident with the whatever that little tween wannabe. There model. was someone who, and then there's Logan Paul who was doing. That stuff was a that different day. Yeah. They told him specifically, don't do this. Like they tell you, please do not do any scavenger hunts, surprise get-togethers because there's a safety concern. Your right. safety and then other people's. Well, safety. that's the thing. He didn't get those papers because he's not. A, he, was he wasn't invited. Yeah, he wasn't invited. But then he kind of just. You know, so exactly, and they just kind of made it. At the same time, it's kind of common sense. If you know you're going to draw a big crowd, that's they do that on purpose. So that's what I hate is. about it's it. It's for the it's, views. It's for the views, and it's crap content providers like that that piss me off about YouTube. Mm -hmm. And then the other one was um I don't know if you saw on Philip DeFranco. He was talking about how there's this feminist who had a panel with other feminists. Yes, and uh, Anita Sarkeesian. Yeah, Anita Sarkeesian, whatever. And then she just another YouTuber was sitting in the front row just watching didn't say anything you could say he was intimidating her or something like that by being in the front row but he's not engaging her he just yeah he was just sitting, he's there. sitting there watching he might just be watching for his own sake like if he wanted content for his channel mm -hmm. to like something this to is, talk about yeah this yeah. is what she said this is why i don't like agree with what she said and she just straight up calls him a piece of trash da, da, da. it's like what is this crap dude the garbage guy's just, human yeah garbage humans like you can't just do that and then you can't hide behind the veil of 
oh, he's he's intimidating me, blah blah blah. It's like yeah. this is a two way street. You gotta yeah. you gotta dish it out. You gotta take it type of thing. And I don't know. Like I love YouTube for what it is, and I'm very like I want to go to a VidCon with you one day or one year. I just haven't had the chance to or like the funds and stuff just to observe it from an outside perspective and stuff. Because as like a person who watches YouTube but not like diehard watches it, but I try to yeah. you know, keep keep up with it and everything. Yeah. Uh, first, going back to the whole Christian thing. Uh, yeah, I was actually right there when it, like, I actually pointed out, like, it looks like they're about to tackle someone right now. Oh, no. And then everyone turns around, and then sure enough, they tackle this guy, and they try to drag him in so they can get him away from the crowd. And then that's when everyone saw, and then rushed Rush towards. Over there. With their phones out? Yeah, everyone. Of course, everyone <laughs> had Dude, it was VidCon. They all had cameras. God. They all had their cameras out. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> yeah, and then I didn't get too close to it, um, because there's a bunch of security and people Sec- yeah and uh but yeah that dude was uh, going off on the guy i mean i don't want to repeat the same thing. everyone's already nah, yeah, seen, seen, seen it, it yeah. but um it was just fucked up what it did and it was actually fun for louis louis cole who um tweeted out the guy's instagram that's all awesome. yeah uh travel vlogger and uh that was that was really really cool of him was that the um, same and the guy isn't also the, the security guard like he seems to be like like just don't chill. even don't give him hate yeah either you know uh, like no one deserves yeah, that yeah. kind of hate yeah. So, yeah, that was always like, yo, you don't have to, you don't have to, you're doing what I was doing. Yeah, fidgeting. Yeah, fidgeting. <laughs> um, yeah he was, his whole point was like, don't go over there. Let's not say yeah. that dude's name. Let's not give him any more press, press but go yeah. to, go to this guy's page and let's get him. Blow him up. Blow yeah. up. And he yeah, got blow to like 66,000 or 60,000. Yeah. In like the first two hours, he went from however many he had to like 10,000 followers. He had something like Instagram. 400 or something like that. Or, yeah. And then like, boom, it just went up to like 1,500 and more and more. <clears throat> Uh, that aside, like overall, I had a lot of fun at this VidCon. Um, I didn't go to to a lot of panels. Well, actually, Saturday I did go to a lot of panels, but like the first day I woke up kind of late, mm-hmm. so I didn't get to go to experience the full networking of one of the ones <laughs> that I wanted to go to. But uh, I did meet some new friends and nice. some friends that I've met online, um, and uh, it was cool hanging out with them, meeting them in person for the first time. Uh, didn't really go to any parties um except for the creator party that was on the last day but this year was i <laughs> felt was a lot better than last year um that's cool that's good that's all you can yeah. ask for that, that they improve upon each year yeah and uh i guess probably because i learned more than this year than i did last year because okay. last year i kind of felt like well i kind of already know this why are you telling me shit that i already know mm. yeah you know and if you go to, if you, even this year, like if you go to those panels where, you know, how to increase your viewers or how to engage with audience or like whatever, uh, SEOs, mm-hmm. um, it's helpful. But like, if you've already been doing YouTube for at least a year, you kind of already know this, you right. know, because you have to go through the trial and errors of it. Um, but if you're just starting a YouTube page and it happens to be around VidCon time, it's going to be extremely helpful for you. Right. Um, but this year, like, there's a lot of talk about live streaming, and I went to a few of the live streaming panels, <clears throat> and they talked about how they're, how live streaming is kind of like the new latest thing now, because it's, you're getting it instantly right now, Yeah. Mm-hmm. and Facebook, and you now, and what's the other one, like, I don't know, some other one, um, like, the whole panel had, it's, and Twitch. Is Periscope still a thing? Because I know Periscope yeah. is still a thing, yeah. All right. Because like um, that was but they're kind huge of, about when that first came 14, out. 15 months ago. Like it was huge. Yeah. You now and <clears> this <throat> new one that's up and coming right now, which we probably should stream on. Um, early adopters. <laughs> exactly. It's good to be an early adopter. Um, but it's also hard to keep up with some of the yeah, things coming counts, out. Yeah. Um, uh, but Facebook was one that I think we definitely need to get on because they're also. Uh, pushing out some new features on their live uh, Facebook live and they're also going to be <coughs> soon going to start monetization for live streaming oh really oh, wow. yeah I and, feel like uh, a lot of the controversial stuff is always caught on Facebook live like, yeah a lot of it like if you think about the guy who got shot by a police officer in his car that was on Facebook yeah, his girlfriend was Facebook live and that like current news events that always seems yeah. to be on Facebook live yeah and also um they also, they also mentioned, like, how to 
I guess game, not really game. I hate to use the word game the system, mm-hmm. but like kind of assist you on like how to push out your content as right. far as like boost. Because I see boost, I'm like, I don't want to have to fucking pay for Facebook to boost my shit. Fuck right. that. Fuck them. And then go watching this, I'm like, oh shit, I got paid for this. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. I get why they're doing this. It's like you're a business owner, same thing. Yelp will do that. Yeah, yeah like they yeah. will contact they have you and be like. Hey, you know, if you if you pay for our ad service, we'll bump your thing to the first category and blah blah blah, and get rid of your negative reviews and yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. they kind of game the system in a sense. Yeah, it's their system. It's, like, it's yeah. like buying people are buying Twitter followers, and now they're exactly. buying Instagram followers. Mm-hmm. Like it's that's thing. I think that's totally uh, different. Click uh, on, I'm, hey, it's farms. it's all the same. It's all accomplishing the same end goal. It is, but it's uh, padding your numbers. That's yeah, what it but is. with Facebook, I feel like they have. I mean, they've, it's been been around more than ten years now, and they definitely have a grasp. Of, and it's completely ingrained into everything. To yeah, where to where they know how to target has people a Facebook page. for yeah. certain things. And I've went into. I was actually going to try to boost some of our videos that we had, and uh, I just can't toss over the money to Facebook. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to. <laughs> but they got, they got too much money. For the, already. Yeah, for the most part, like. Uh, like they've mentioned, like if your video does good, uh, naturally, like if you get something like a thousand, you know, views. not views, but like clicks or whatever, uh, it's good to boost it at that point because then you'll get more eyes right. on it. And uh, strike while the iron's hot. Actually. There you go. Yeah. And uh, so it is, it, yeah, it doesn't make sense to boost anything that's like only like ten views or thirty views. You mm-hmm. know, if if you hit that past that five hundred mark, it, right. Getting the, a the good boosting it isn't yeah. bad, um, and they and then you have total control on how you market it as well too. So there's actually controls on the controls in Facebook where you can like, all right, I want people from uh, 18 to 35 to see this that demographic. Yeah, right. the demographic and location, <laughs> and you could actually point specific areas. So like, we did something, let's say on Japan, right? We could actually market it over in Japan. You know, in specific areas or in just in the whole country. And the more specific you get, uh, it seems like the more it just helps boost. So how long until Facebook users are going to be able to pay Facebook so they don't see those boosted ads? <laughs> say that again? How long until me, like say I'm a user. Or YouTube Red. And I don't, I don't, oh. don't want to <laughs> fucking, I don't want to see your podcast boost ad yeah. that you gave Fifty dollars oh, or whatever. Oh, you red type of I'll give you a dollar Facebook, so I don't have to see that. that shit. So they're gonna right. don't, don't don't say that, Rick. It's a money making opportunity for them. Or you have to watch you, five seconds of it and hit skip ad. Before. Yeah, YouTube does it. <laughs> they already. do have skip ads. Yeah, like, I think. I'm pretty sure I got one on Facebook. You can pay. Maybe, for, you sure. can pay for well, YouTube. Yeah, you, can, you can pay fifteen dollars a month. I think it is on Hulu, so you don't get ads. But the ad people are still paying. Hulu for ads. They're still gonna get paid. So, yeah. like I'm saying, like how long before they start getting it from both ends? I don't see Facebook ever Not... charging, charging people. I really don't. It, it, no, it won't be a mandatory thing, but they'll give the option. An option to yeah. An option, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay. They'll give the option. Um, hey, maybe. if you don't, hey man, Facebook is. Are good. you tired of seeing these ads? <laughs> me too. How about you give me ten dollars a month? Facebook you never is... have to see these ads again. <laughs> Facebook is actually now looking for original content. They're <clears> willing to <throat> now. Yeah. Uh, they just came out during VidCon where they're going to start paying people for ideas so and putting exclusive. Netflix. Well, original content, like original web series, original. Um, same thing that YouTube started. Something that YouTube started. is kind of. Well, Vimeo, really. I mean, YouTube Red, they go after creators. Mm-hmm. Um, creators don't go after them. Right. So. Um, but mm-hmm. here, it seems like. It's more tangible with Facebook than yeah. it is with YouTube. Have you gotten into any like YouTube Red stuff like series? Well, I have YouTube Red. Like, is there anything you want to like that you watch and you're thinking, oh, I, I want to. Um, this, this interests me. Or I watched the watching. Smosh movies. Okay. Uh, or a Smosh movie, because uh, the first one they made wasn't with YouTube Red. Um, they made one called like Ghostmates, and it wasn't really that good. Um, uh, which my theory on that. If you want to talk about it another time, it's that's another fine. Um, but uh, YouTube present or uh, SSW Network presents Rick's v- reviews. Like for, for the uh, bad things that happened to Shay Carl, 
uh, well, not really very bad. I mean, it's his own choice, whatever he did. Um, uh, vlogumentary was actually really good. Okay. Which okay. is uh, following vloggers of all kinds. And it was like a documentary. Vlogumentary. Yeah, that's cool. I just that was really good. I just haven't heard of anything on PewDiePie YouTube. PewDiePie show right. was all right. It was all right. Uh, I liked it a lot. I was looking forward to it. Until he got all anti-Semitic. <laughs> yeah. um, Pull the Walt Disney. Yeah. <laughs> um, but his show was good. And then that game theorist, Matt Pat. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen his. He has like he does a lot of the like FNAF videos, Five Nights yeah. at Freddy's videos, mm-hmm. theories. Um, he has a uh, like a MythBusters type show, but for video games. Oh wow! Cool. So like he's done Assassin's Creed, he's done um, Rocket League, where they actually get into cars and start. Oh, I saw that. One. I, I saw, saw that. that one. Okay. Of all things, an ad. <laughs> um, Mirror's Edge, which I thought was With pretty good. Parkour people. Yeah, stuff. they got some parkour people. Uh, that show was pretty good. That sounds interesting. Um, Man, do you remember when Tech TV used to do shit like that? Yeah. Fuck, I miss Tech TV. Fuck uh, you, G4. You ruined <laughs> everything. But overall, yeah, FitCon was a lot of fun. I highly recommend going if you've never been. At least once, just to see it. And, uh... Yeah. Is and it the same if, time every year? Like Usually June. Yeah. I think last time they had... Like, one time I think they had it in July, I want to say. Oh, fuck, that would be too hot. By then. It was hot in July. I think that's why it was in June this time. As well as it was last year. I think the first time I went was in July. Because I think it was like a week before my birthday. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. It sounds um, fun, man. Every time you come back and talk about it, I'm like, fuck, I should have went with Rick. I should have went. Yeah. I should have yeah. went. Um, and one thing I learned about all this is I'm really starting to like going to conventions. Like, I want to go to TwitchCon. I want to, I think I kind of want to go to Comic-Con this year. Ooh. I want to go. Comic-Con is a whole different beast, though, man. <laughs> no, no, I know. I've been there. a whole different I've beast. I've been there. I know it. But, like, I've noticed when I do these things, I get, I walk so much. Yeah. And it gets in so much cardio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I You're saw like, this how many shirt steps do that I have? says Comic-Con is my cardio. I'm like, oh, my God, <laughs> that's totally true. The, the year I went to Comic-Con was the year that it started to blow up. It wasn't, it It was was, not the beast it is now. It's on the cusp. And even then, it was fucking unbearable. Unbearable. You were there the years we would just show up and like, I'd like a three-day badge, please. And pay, and then get your badge, go down the escalator. Yeah, I went in 06. I went in 06 with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I kind of wanted to go to... I might just go one day this year. Anime convention. Anime Expo, that's this weekend. Anime Expo, that's, yeah. Right it's kind of too late now. I thought it was next week. It's too hot. Um, downtown LA. Just don't, go out, just don't go outside. Oh, it's also downtown LA. sucks yeah. balls. Yeah, that's true. Do you, know, do you watch a lot of anime, though? Like, I feel I don't. like... Uh, I just, I just you, don't, you don't have to. I went to Anime Expo, well, again, probably about 10 years ago with, with Lawrence. Uh, and we went with his friend Joe and a couple of, a bunch of, a big group of people. And there's a lot of video game stuff. There's a lot of comic book stuff. There's just a whole... I got to see... Um, the Studio Ghibli movie Spirited Away. I get to see a oh. film print of that in, a, in one of the halls. And even, there was like 20 people in there. And it was fucking amazing. And then like the Mega 64 guys had a panel there. We That's went and saw that. Like it, there was a whole bunch of really cool shit at Anime Expo. I want to go. I want to go and I want to have a costume in to go in. <laughs> it's too, it's too hot to hot. cosplay. It's too hot. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really watch anime. I, 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 can, can Pokemon. I can sweat in boxes and a tank top. I can sweat if it's 8, 76 degrees. So <laughs> I don't want to wear a full-on costume in the middle of July. Or beginning of July or whatever. But I think that'd be super fun. So, you're going to come to TwitchCon? Either of you? Where's it at? Long Beach, Long Beach right? yeah. When is it? Uh, October 20th? Yeah, that's the weekend, the three day week. I don't, I don't want to go Saturday, and they're okay. doing they do one day passes. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll check it out. Yeah, I think we should go. That'd be fun. I Bryce, got, if you're watching, we I got go. super jealous because you met John Hill. Uh, yes, I did. Gone. I met John Hill. God damn it! Did I you go check Sarah. out? The, did you go check out the Braille booth? No, I even sent you the booth I know, number, man. I, know, I, know. I didn't actually spend too much time on the on expo the floor, floor mm-hmm. just because I don't know. I was just hanging out with a bunch of people. That's why. Yeah, meeting. Um. But yeah, I met uh, met John Hill, Sarah Dietschy. Um I met a uh, Snapchatter that I follow called Ali. I can't I can't pronounce her last Spigola, Spin something. 
And which is funny. She does YouTube as well. Yeah, you I don't fuck with Snapchat. Snapchat. Sorry. She, she does YouTube too, but she's, yeah. Um, who else did I meet? I met, I saw Louis Cole. Fun for Louis. Mm-hmm. Um, who else did I see? Oh, I saw the CEO of YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing. Yeah, she was just like walking by, like, oh shit, that's the CEO from YouTube. <laughs> Pretty funny. Uh, like, here's the resume. With or something like that. So, yeah, overall it was a lot of fun. Oh, I saw Philip DeFranco, of course. I didn't get my picture with him. Uh, but I saw him and I met his camera guy, Joe. Oh, uh, his, his fake D-Rock? His fake D-Rock, yeah. yeah. Did you watch that uh, behind-the-scenes thing he did? Uh, with his dad? No, when... No, uh, uh, Gary V came in and they like had a conversation. Yeah, I saw both, both sides. Did, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did, did you, you watch? I just watched the Philip Phil DeFranco one. I didn't watch the. Oh, you should watch the other I side. The Gary Vee one now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the that episode with his dad. Uh, yeah, I saw him Gary Vee. Oh, so good. Yeah, I gotta watch it. So good. Shall Shall we get into the show? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure, man. All right. Let's do this. So uh, we got some trailers for you. Uh, which trailer <clears throat> should we start with? Uh, let's start with Pitch Perfect Three. I guess. <laughs> okay. Let's get that. Hot garbage out of the way. Hot garbage. Okay. Hot garbage that we'll watch in theaters. <laughs> okay. On opening weekend. Um, <laughs> on Thursday night. Thursday night. I would love if an ad rolled right now for something else. YouTube Red. <laughs> She's so hot. I'm big on Haley now. Oh. Oh. Dirty about it. Don't even, don't even no, just don't even think it that way. That is true, they do that. <laughs> She's lost a lot of weight. Good for her. <laughs> Why are there so many action sequences? Because they got a lot of money. They had to spend the money somewhere. Check it out. Ready to have your minds blown? This is the modern day Mighty Ducks movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's very true. Come on. Second Iceland? Reports, Iceland? Yeah. Germany? A same thing? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could kind of say that. Yeah. Although I think the second one would be more like the third one. No, the second one's more like the, f- the second one. Were... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. The second one everyone was hyped to see. Remember? Yeah, Because yeah, then yeah. you brought in new cast yeah, members. Yeah, okay, you're yeah. right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Because they did bring Keenan in. from Keenan Co. Yep, that's right. Knuckle puck. Knuckle puck. The Mighty Ducks. It's the, the, mighty, the new it Mighty is. Ducks. It's the new Mighty Ducks. Uh... <laughs> you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it. You know you're gonna see it. <laughs> But you're gonna. You're gonna. I don't wanna. But I'm gonna. So this one is directed by Elizabeth Banks. No. It's not? I thought it, it was directed. It started that way. 
on what she bowed and out. And she backed out. Did she? Like, yes, I remember we talked about that specifically. Unless she came back on, she backed out of directing but still produced. Oh, you're right. It was a story we covered on a little yeah. podcast called Some Shit We Like. I don't know if you remember. Wow, I should listen to that. Episode mm-hmm. number two. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> wow, okay, yeah, she didn't direct it. Okay. She so started directing it, but she backed out. Directed it. But she's uh, still executive producing, so. Let me see direct. Get that back oh, in, Oh, she money. directed the OK, Co- OK Go video. Here it goes again. The one with the treadmills. Oh, with the treadmills? She directed that one. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, seriously, though, what do you guys think? I think it's too much. I think it's too much, too far. It's just a money grab. Um, it's a Christmas. It's coming out during Christmas. There's no going to be nothing else out. I So I felt that way going into the second movie. And I ended up coming out liking it, I think, more than Rick and Bryce did. Um, the second one? Yeah. Um, I like the second one. Yeah, I, I like the mm. second one also. I don't uh, regret seeing it. I don't I don't know. I have to see it again. The second one. I gotta say, though. At least I Overall, I, uh, this actually, <laughs> to me, this looks better. Than the second one? Than the second one. No, but I gotta this watch one this. just looks more action even than the second yeah, one. Yeah, there's explosions. You don't I need don't to have explosions in a fucking acapella <laughs> or singing movie. Fat Amy punching a great white shark. I love Rebel Wilson. Yeah. I think, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I definitely want to see it. I, I remember seeing um, like uh, photos, set photos when she was doing the Amy Winehouse thing and then like a couple of days later like some story came out about her losing like much 45 pounds or something like that. Damn. So good for her. Yeah. Um, so yes for me. Yes for Bryce. Yes for me. <laughs> Brian too. <laughs> Reluctantly, I will probably see this movie in theaters. Reluctantly, sure. It's like, what are you guys doing on Christmas Day? <laughs> uh, it was Christmas Day. Um, cool. Look, man, I, I do love Anna Kendrick. I really it's Anna Kendrick. That's why you have to go I see it. Really I saw Table 19 on the airplane. Did you? Yeah. Oh, you did? Is I it saw good? it too. I liked it. Oh, man. People crap on it, but I'm like, it's a good popcorn flick. Okay. Like It was decent. It's decent, yeah. But I mean, I, I, it wasn't like great or anything. It was probably it gets, better it than... Gets, not dark, uh, but it gets real. <laughs> it's what, that's why everyone thought, like, oh, this would be a funny little comedy, but it's like, oh, it's yeah. kind of real. I definitely think it was too long, in my opinion. Really? I well, thought I was it was too long. on a plane for 12 <laughs> hours, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nothing is too long when you're on a plane for 12 yeah. hours. <laughs> I, think I, I felt like you were born twice. <laughs> Could have watched The Lord of the Rings once. <laughs> you would probably <laughs> like it better than the other one you were talking about. Get a job? Yeah. Uh, that that movie's terrible. Seen, seen God, that movie's terrible. It, yeah. Rick, watch it. Please watch it. <laughs> I know, I gotta watch it. We'll, we'll I watch almost it. watched it last week. Oh, you should watch I it. I almost watched it. I ended up, guess what I ended up watching instead? Uh, what? The Force Awakens. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, this movie is bad, like, Southland Tales bad. Like it's on the it's it's so many times it's on the I cusp like of Southland Tales. So I do I like, like it. it. I like it. It's one of those again. It's it's one of those movies. It's fucking terrible, but it's on the. But cusp. it has it has the. It's uh, on the cusp of the being charm. awesome. No, this this one you will like this. one. Yeah. Better. Okay. I want yeah. I want to watch that because uh, Anna Kendrick is really good in it. I, there's definitely one plot hole in there that I noticed. Um, Which I'm uh, <clears throat> Uh, cause I don't think she addressed it. Like you drop a hint. So it was the mic. The guy that she was talking to the entire time. The guy that she met at the wedding, or her. There was another the guy ex. at the wedding. That she didn't know who that was. Right? Can I get that right? I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't You're asking the wrong person. Apparently, Brian has no idea what you're talking about. That sat at the table, or. Cause she was like giving she the She was rundown. talking to the guy, <clears throat> the guy that she met. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. And then then the ex. Oh no, they do talk about that. Never mind. They need to cover it. Never mind. Okay. You know, plot hole. Um, but yeah, overall, nice I try, was, like, Rick. Yeah. Trying to throw don't a camera kind of shut on our Anna like that. Yeah, you don't. You don't ever. Don't. <laughs> don't ever you keep your mouth queen. shut. <laughs> you shut your mouth when you're talking about Anna Kendrick. But. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, table nineteen. Good. Uh, I like okay, I'll check it out. I definitely want to check it out. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll reluctantly see that in theaters. <laughs> All right, should we move on to the next one? Yes. Three yeses. Yes. All right. Uh, all right. Greatest show. Man. Man. I haven't seen this. Me either. I don't even know who's in it. Oh, yeah, him. Huge Jackman. Can I have your attention? You're all dismissed. Thank you. Better luck with your next job. 
Oh, that's kind of Monopoly guy? I know. <laughs> Milton Bradley? This is not the life I promised you. It's not even close. Girls, I think I've got an idea. I don't like when they use modern music in old. I just hate that. <clears throat> It's been a great idea. We're gonna mistreat people and animals for the amusement of others for decades to come. <laughs> they don't cover that part. Okay, I thought that was her. It looks different, like she had you know, work done. Yeah, for a second I thought that was Carrie Milligan. Milligan. Yeah, that was a very musical vibe. I thought it was going to be musical at first. So much. You know what it kind of... It kind of... The way it's shot and the kind of way it looks reminds me of... Uh, just Big fish. Why not? You clearly have a flair for show business. For show business? Mm-hmm. I've never heard of it. Because I just invented it. Looks good. Because I just invented it. Uh, Michael Grayson. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know much about the whole P.T. Barnum story, but I do know a lot of people talk about it because it's a very interesting story. So I'm excited to see that. That looks really cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rick, I'm with you. I also hate when they use modern music in old, like movie period movies. But at the same time, if it's not something that, if it's something that was just for the trailer, obviously, hopefully, it's not actually in the movie. In the movie yeah. Then yeah, I'm, then I'm okay not. with it. Then I'm pull the what's that movie with Fucking Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, Gatsby with the modern song. <laughs> yeah, that was okay. But hold on, Rick. Did hold you watch on. the movie? Gatsby. Gatsby? I watched uh, about. 35 minutes of it and couldn't take it. Hold on. There's a movie that both of us, I know, I, I love it. I know, I'm pretty sure Brian has seen it and likes it too, that uses modern music in 42. a very, no, no, A Knight's Tale. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a different time. <laughs> <laughs> this is an era back then. We were different people then. Different people. Can't but, yeah. crap on anything from our child, or our teen years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the movie you're looking for is The Foreigner, Rick. Oh. Sean Collier sounds familiar though too. John... That's a what's his face from a Walking Dead. I'm really excited about this. Fuck. And you know he did that on his own phone. <laughs> Oh, 
Tony Ja. All right, the raid. Let me show you how this shit's really done. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be doing all of the stunts on this one. He's it's like, pretty old now. And it's not comedic either. How dope does that look, yeah, man? Is, that's very uh, Denzel John Q. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Man, it looks so. I saw that the other day. I was like, that looks oh, incredible. Yay. <laughs> Do you remember when I went on that kick of watching. Uh, like I'd, I'd get anything from Netflix that um, was like Hong Kong action flicks oh, and we watched the one with his son mm -hmm. that was actually really fucking yeah. good with JC Chan yeah like I'm really excited about that movie that thing looks really cool man yeah, it looks good I'm gonna go fucking see the shit out of that movie yeah that looks like incredible yeah. that looks really good um, whether he did any of his own stunts mm -hmm. in that I can't he always does. He always does. Stuff. I know, but he's so old now. <laughs> so we wouldn't care. Doesn't matter. Damn, like, and like, the some of the scenes we were watching, they're like, he's acting really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's good. Also, I'm telling you, go watch that Karate Kid remake, because he does some good acting in that movie too. Damn. Beats up some little kids. I'm, I'm excited to see this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to see that. Yeah, it looks, that's why I wanted to wait for last, because I knew everybody here was gonna like that. Um. Yeah, so that's it for trailers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think I have any news. Uh, oh, we got a review. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so I need to see that movie. Me and Brian here. We saw All Eyes on Me. Yes. Where'd you go see it? Uh, right? The block. Block. The block. <laughs> really? Ooh, getting. Bro, Rick got bougie, and we uh, bought the. What was it called? Like the. I forgot what it was. Dolby, like Dolby, you whatever. But yeah, oh, like okay. eighteen dollars seat, so it the was place a... was empty. <laughs> We're just saying. That's funny. Okay. Um, yeah. So all eyes on me. I don't really know much about Tupac. Oddly enough, mm -hmm. um, my jam was mostly uh, uh, Straight Outta Compton. I really love Straight Outta Compton, yeah. and I knew more of their music. More about I'm NWA. not really. Verse in rap and hip hop, so okay. the history of it all, yeah. As far as that goes, yeah. but as far as the movie goes, like, I know who he is, you know, I know how he dies, um, the, like cultural significance, of exactly, it like that. how much of an impact he had. Mm -hmm. His story um, is fucking insane, yeah. and uh, overall, I enjoyed the story of this, of this person. Mm -hmm. I really liked the story, um, I thought it was uh, told well. The big, the big thing um, though is like. People are getting in arms about it, about it not being entirely accurate. Mm -hmm. For example, I've heard that. Jada Pinkett. Come but it's on, like Jada. it's based. Come on, on Jada. It's not a. It, I don't think you should call it an, a biography movie. It's just based on actual also, events, and you got to gl glitz it up a little bit because it, it's just a saying, movie. Come on, Jada. You ain't got to lie. <laughs> you ain't got to lie. Yeah, they, gotta, they gotta. No, but embellish. here's the funny part. Jada was upset about how she was portrayed. Mm -hmm. She's the voice of reason the entire damn movie. Uh, they put yeah. her, they put her in the most like. Lil Kim was upset about the way she was portrayed in Notorious. Notorious. Yeah, oh, I haven't seen Notorious. That's why I knew that. You haven't seen Notorious? Nope. I'm not big. I'm not big on East Coast rap. Like, no, please. No, honestly, like. It's all about the West Side. I was mostly West Coast, but then I did yeah, listen to a lot here, of DMX but, and, Yeah. But yeah, but, like, the little Kim complained about the way she was portrayed. But, but it's like, this little Kim, you know, it's probably know, right? honestly like, like, yeah. yeah but anyway. I was asking Rick, like, from a movie standpoint, what did you think about it? Because I know he doesn't know much of the history. And mm -hmm. I, after watching it, I explained to him, like, yeah, if a lot of the music, that is the timeline of the movie, because <clears throat> that yeah. yeah. that's what it is. You have to know. Oh, fuck yeah. You have to know the sequence. Of, oh, oh, there's one section that's kind of out of sequence, but they, they kind of did it to clean it up to make the movie flow yeah. a little better. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's cool just seeing him as a kid being raised by his mother, who is a Black Panther, getting caught up in the like political stuff, mm -hmm. and then having to move to, to Oakland from New York and all that. Mm -hmm. And then from there, kind of like... But you don't like East Coast. Huh? I'm just kidding. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I, like, I know, yeah, East yeah. West Coast, I know. Go but ahead. that a lot of it, too, it's like, 
it's it's the time sequence of it like oh this is when this came out and then he got in trouble for the rape case so then he came out with um what's it called oh, i can't think of the name of the songs but yeah you have the name of the, the songs is the sequence of events That's the, awesome. the most interesting part like it really picks up when he meets shug and the whole yeah. death row thing and that just gets crazy yeah and yeah, no, 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 no. yeah, because the storytelling of it was fucking nice. Like, uh, it's like kind of exactly what he just said right now too. Kind of just echoing that is like when, uh, like his story is from prison. Like we're getting his story from prison from when he's a kid. He's explaining it to this journalist, and it just goes yeah. like that, and it meets up to where you're at. Yeah, and then it becomes current. Okay, so it's like a part. full flashback, and then it comes current. Mm-hmm. Nice. So when he they meets, start in the middle. He's talking to a reporter. They go back to his childhood. Yeah. They catch up to the to the middle, and, and then they go past that. Uh, and then they go to yeah. Vegas in '96. <laughs> yeah. So we all know what happens there. Kind of like in Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump kind of yeah. yeah. He started in the middle thing, on the know. bench and all that. How long yeah. is the movie? Uh, under two. I think it's just about two. Just yeah. About two. I want to say it's just about two. That's a movie that I would want to be like two and a half hours. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, it gets. I was shocked at how long Straight Outta Compton was and how quick that movie moves. Went through. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it definitely picked up towards the end. Yeah, because they throw a lot at the end, because then that's when you start seeing the heavy hitters, because then all of a sudden, here's Suge, here's Dre, here's Snoop. And Snoop. that, that yeah. last three or four years of his life was... It was a whirlwind. Boom. It was crazy. Yeah. Because yeah. as they, soon as he got out of jail, mm-hmm. it was just 100 miles an hour. Yeah. Like, everything that was going on at once. Yeah, I really need to see that movie. Yeah. Like, Rick um, told me a little bit about it last time we recorded, but not on air, just in the car on the way mm-hmm. over here. He was saying, like, you know, it was... There was points where he felt like, you know, the guy that played Tupac was overacting. And I was like, I was like, okay, yes, yeah. I haven't seen it, so I can't judge can't it. Judge. But you also got to understand how big of a personality Tupac, Tupac was, had yeah. when he was, when he was talking about things he was passionate about, whether it was politics or the way uh, blacks were treated or the Black Panthers or his mom his or image. his, and his family. Mm-hmm. Like, he's like... There's a g- awesome documentary that Tupac Resurrection, like docu- piece together that, documentary yeah. that came out, um, is really cool because you see that, like you see him when he's really laid back and just kind of talking about, and then you see him, you watch him get completely passionate about his music and his art and you know his mom and his family and and like it, he gets very loud and yeah. very over the top. They definitely showed that in a sense where he. In the movie, they, they showed yeah. that his, he let his emotions get the best of him, yeah. which is very true to his life. And then that was not his decline, yeah, that but that was, that was a whirlwind that occurred that caused all the events that in his life, in his yeah. life and everything. Yep. So. Yeah, and I get that. I, like, I totally get that. You know, And there's definitely a way to portray that and yeah. act mm-hmm. that. Um, right, right. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just like, I, yeah, just I was think just there trying to give him a lot context. of exquisite moments in yeah. that movie. I think it's more on and, the mom. Who, what's her face that played? Um, she was in Suicide Squad as a DA. Um, she's that one. Oh, Viola Davis. Viola Davis. She overacts a lot in the beginning. Mm-hmm. She's very like. She played the mom. Oh. She's the mom. She's, she's the mom. mom. Really? Yeah, that's oh, her. Cool. Um, um, but yeah, yeah, like. I just think like the the actor that picked like well dead looks like him course. like dead on yeah. looks like him yeah but I think. I saw an interview with him. That's his first fucking gig ever. ever. Yeah. Ever. Do you know the and you can story? tell because I saw through his acting. Yeah, 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 it yeah, wasn't yeah. like like I have nothing against the dude, obviously, but like, right. um, like when he got to that level where you know he's supposed to be cocky or passionate or like that, like you can tell he was, was acting. Just, it was too much. It was yeah. acting. It wasn't. He wasn't believing it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't believe it. Got it. Um. And uh. But the kid has chops, definitely. Like he, he nails like the sincere parts. He nails the, uh, the, uh, um, the performance. The perform yeah. some of like the main performance throughout the movie, like his passion with uh, uh, Jada, mm-hmm. and um, like he nails it. He nails it. But like when he gets to that, that level of like Tupac's happiness and passion, yeah. Like, and he's a little more polished. It's his yeah. first gig. Yeah. Did you hear so, how he got that gig? No. What I, so he's from Carson. He's from Carson. Yeah, he's oh, from shit. Yeah. No way. He was working in retail. He said Target at the time. Oh, wow. And yeah. growing up, all his friends called him Tupac. Because he looked <laughs> like him. And then, funny story is that his dad produced How Do You Want It. No so way. So this, this movie took 10 years to make. Because yeah. all the clearances and everything like that. 
So he kept all his friends like, you got to go audition, you got to go audition. Your dad has a hookup, blah, blah, blah. He can get you in. Yeah. He kept putting on the back burner, yeah, yeah, whatever. So he says that he sent him his thing, his resume or tape, whatever, on the last possible day <laughs> to, to, send, to submit it. And then, it's one, of those, it's one of those things, like, you see that come you across that, the you're, table. Yeah, you're, you're like, well, we got to figure this out. Whether he's good or not, we got to make it <laughs> we work. We got to make it work because he's a dead ringer. And I was telling Rick, you watch that movie and you kind of – it takes you back to the mid nineties. You kind of forget that he's gone. Yeah. And the, that was the refreshing part. It's like, Oh, it's like you get that two hour break where you're like, Oh, he's still around. I felt, I felt that way with notorious. notorious. I felt that way with straight out of Compton yeah. with easy. Mm-hmm. Like, man, I just, I love that these guys in a field that is not treated with a lot of respect by mainstream media, especially like, yes, rap is mainstream, hip-hop is mainstream now, and it, most of it's garbage that I don't care, that's he, neither here nor there. But the era that those guys came from is not treated with any kind of respect no, for no. them being iconic in their field or storytellers or anything like that. Well, mainstream media is outsider to that. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. They don't know how to portray that world because they're not a part of it. Right. And they don't try to be a part of it. Right. That's the hard part. But they did... I liked how they portrayed Biggie because they straight up... They're friends. Yeah. That's how it is. They didn't they, they didn't, didn't go into any of the drama stuff. I was like nudging Rick yeah. when, you know, the whole East Coast, West Coast thing is going on. I'm like, this is all fueled by media. And it's all one after It one all after was fueled by media. Yeah. All of it was. Mm-hmm. Which is such a bummer. Yeah. But yeah. they needed some kind of story to sensationalize gangster rap gangster music. Rap. And, oh, yeah. They show all the clips of like Reagan and all that stuff from yeah. all the politics getting into it. Yeah. But... Yeah, there's some cool parts that I was nudging Rick. I'm like, that's actual footage. <laughs> From, like, if yeah. they splice it into the movie and stuff. That's cool. The security footage, huh? Security yeah. footage. That's rad, dude. I need to see that mm-hmm. movie. Yeah, people were talking whatever. I feel like you either, lo- well, not loved it, but, like, you liked it, or there's people who just want to rip on it. I think it comes down to you either were a fan. you're a fan of Tupac yeah. or you're not. Like, I think the same can be said for Notorious, and the same can be said for Straight Outta Compton. Compton. The same can be said for any biopic. Yeah. Like, if you don't like Johnny Cash, you're not gonna like Walk, walk the Line. Walk, walk, you know walk, what walk, I mean? Walk. I said Walk Hard. Yeah. <laughs> if, you <don't> like, <laughs> if you don't like Ray Charles, you're not gonna like that way. movie. Mm-hmm. Like, it's that's just the way it is. What cracked me up is that Fifty Cent was like one of the first ones to talk trash on it. And I'm like, really, dude? Have you seen This Is Fifty? Your <laughs> biopic, <laughs> honestly. Wow. Um, I don't think that was Viola Davis. No? no. What's what's your face? Go to the um. Yeah, the Fina. Uh, the Fina no, that's, his, that's his actual mother. Yeah. yeah. His actual mother. Go is to the, the Fina All Eyes on Me cast. It's what's her face? That's his mom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fina? Yeah. And the cast shows someone else. Okay. It's Danny, Diana. Denia. Denia Gur. What is? Is she from Walking Dead? Yeah, she plays Michonne. Oh, it's Michonne. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is. I didn't even recognize her. This is fucking ridiculous, you guys. Um. Yeah. Um. You look. It's insane. Yeah. It's insane. <laughs> the way you look, yeah, the way they look like. Yeah. So. Who played Jada Pinkett? Um. Jada. No. Jada. <laughs> Uh, Kat Graham. Mm. She's a singer. She was. Oh, Maybe. she's a singer. I think she was. You know. She was in. She was in the vamp. She was in the Vampire Diaries. I guess. Mm, okay. So yeah. I really need to see this movie, man. I didn't see. I saw Notorious in theaters. I didn't see Straight Outta Compton in theaters. I didn't. I, I gotta go see this when it's Dollar Theater or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a sing along. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was down there just like it's gonna be a sing along uh, screening of the movie. Yeah. That's awesome. I'd go see a sing along screening. Right <laughs> so, yeah, um, I guess you'd like him more if you know more about him. Yeah, or if you really have passion towards the guy. So that's the review. And that that I that I definitely do, man. I did. That when I first started listening to his music, it was one of those things where I was like, ooh, I'm listening to something I'm not supposed to. But then when you actually start listening to the music, there's some yeah. really good shit in it's there. It's a good balance of, you know, the stereotypical yep. gangster rap, but then a lot of the social stuff. Mm-hmm. Where Brenda's got a baby, mm-hmm. etc. That song is insane, man. Oh, yeah. 
Um, I like the good. meeting that they have with their with the yeah. With that the, was a great scene. Mm-hmm. That's that, a good scene. It wasn't. He wasn't as over the top, over yeah. the top hammy. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was a good scene when he was trying to convince the producers like this. Had the record this label. Song, the record label. Yeah, that this song has to come out. Mm-hmm. Like, and uh, he convinced them to do it. It was. It was. It was a good scene. I really actually liked that scene. Yeah. Um, so uh, now we move on to. Those video video, video games? Yes. Yeah, let's move on to video games. Um, what's the first story I put in there, sir? The first story is July PlayStation Plus free games. Okay. What free games are we getting? The reason There's only one reason I brought this up, and it's all I need to say. Everybody's been talking about this game for 18 months now, and I haven't bought it because I Overwatch. just... Overwatch. I couldn't see spending <laughs> oh. full price on it, um, and that is Until Dawn. Uh, I've heard a lot about that game. Mm-hmm. It's a, I guess like, it's heavy rain-ish storytelling, style of storytelling. It's an interactive piece of art, basically. Uh, Hayden Panettiere does the lead Panettiere. motion, whatever, motion oh, capture for it. Um, it's really, it seems to be really fucking awesome, but it's free with PlayStation Plus this month on PS4. Uh, starting this Tuesday, which will be the 4th. Oh, the 4th of July, 4th of July. yeah. Um, that was really the only reason I wanted to bring it up. I think there's other games, but I don't care. And <laughs> um, like I said, the main reason was everybody talks about Until Dawn. And uh, if you like Heavy Rain, if you like those kinds yeah. of games, you need to play it, you need to play it, you need to play it. That's a better download. So basically. I'm super excited about that. Uh, but yeah, Until Dawn... And then I think the Telltale Games Game of Thrones game is also free. Full series is actually free. I don't care about that. I might play through it just because it's an easy platinum, and I'm starting to get on that train, <laughs> which is a bad train to get on. That is a very bad train. That's a bad train to get on. Um, also, if you have PS3, Tokyo Jungle, which is actually a pretty fun uh, game where you start as a small animal. And you kind of have to grow and survive. You have to survive and you become bigger animals. Yeah. So if you have a PS3, Tokyo Jungle, um, Darkstalkers Resurrection. Don't Die, Mr. Robot. Don't Die, Mr. Robot, uh, which is also on PS4. And it's cross-buy. So when you buy it on Vita, you get it out here. Or buy it on PS4, you get it on Vita. And Element 4, which I know nothing about. Uh, But yeah, that's pretty cool... uh, that's a good lineup. Yeah, pretty cool lineup of games. Um, a Life is Strange was free in June? Yeah. Did you get it? I, I had already bought it. Oh, I had already okay. bought it. I got it for like five bucks a couple years ago. You didn't pass ago. it, did you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. But yeah, Until Dawn, I'm very excited to play that. Um, I've got a... They're having... Uh, PlayStation is having a crazy sale right now where Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, the Game of the Year edition, which I got Game of the Year from a lot of places, is only $4 right now. Really? Yeah. So I bought it and downloaded that the other night, and or last night, and was going to start playing. It seems like a cool story. Um, people say it's like Assassin's Creed, but with Batman com- Batman Arkham combat, which I love Assassin's Creed. I love Batman Arkham. <laughs> uh, put those together with swords, mm-hmm. and I'm in. I don't like Lord of the Rings, but I don't fucking care, because <laughs> it's got things I like in it. So um, the thing about Mordor is it had a really cool system in it called the Nemesis system, to where when you killed enemies um more they would like more would spawn that were like i guess like not children of but you know similar like lineagely would be like that and go back around and it would like repopulate so you'd always have enemies to fight like there's no clearing out the game you're always gonna have enemies to fight there's finishing the game and beating the game but you're always gonna have and they get harder and harder and harder as you can go they get on. smarter and yeah strong. exactly huh. so I'm really excited to play that. But yeah, Until Dawn, I'm really, really psyched about uh, getting a chance to finally play that because I've been really cheap as far as <laughs> games I've bought uh, recently. Um, it's an expensive hobby. Yep. Not when you have PlayStation Plus. Um, okay, so the next story uh, I want to talk about is um, IO Interactive became independent from Square Enix uh, before E3, about a month before E3. Square was like, yo, Hitman didn't perform the way we wanted it to, which is fucking garbage. What they're really saying is Final Fantasy didn't perform the way we wanted it to, and we're taking it out on our Western <laughs> franchises. 
because they're supposed to be. Wait, IO owns Final Fantasy? No, IO runs Hitman, but they were owned by Square, Square Enix, who which owns, owns Final, Final Fantasy. Fantasy. Um, so yeah, they had a problem with they. They also Square Enix also does the most recent Tomb Raider games. Um, they also did uh, Deus Ex, the recent Deus oh, Ex yeah, video yeah. games, and those games sold very well for the time. But Square Enix, like, they didn't perform the way we expected them to, so we're not going to make those anymore. Or Tomb Raider's on a hiatus. They said that the team that was making Deus Ex is moving on to work on a Guardians of the Galaxy game, I think, is what they're working on. Um, or a Marvel game of some sort. But the main reason I want to talk about this is because everybody really loved Hitman. So IO Interactive, the people who make Hitman, yeah. bought themselves back from Square Enix, so they're an independent studio again, and they retained all the rights to the IP of Hitman. That includes the one that just came out, all the previous Hitman all games. The previous games. So they retain complete IP rights to the Hitman franchise. So that means they're going to make a new Hitman. Well, their the whole way. point was they were going to do a season two because they did like they were sold this as a, an episodically released game. Uh, um, you could pay sixty bucks and buy the season pass, and you get all the missions. Um, I watched a lot. Watch this game be played a lot on Giant Bomb. They played the shit out of Hitman. And every time I watch them play it, usually it's like, oh, I want to get that game. Uh, I don't want to spend $60. I'll watch Giant Bomb play it, and that'll get my, I'll get it out. I'll get their fix. Right. And they'll get my <laughs> fix, and I won't go spend $60. But every time I watch them play Hitman, I was like, fuck, I want to play this game even more now. Um, so the cool thing was they announced that when they bought themselves back, the first mission is free now. So you can download the first mission for oh, free okay. and play it. And then if you want to unlock the whole game, you can pay the 60 bucks. I think it's actually only 40 bucks right now. Um, or you can buy the episodes individually if you don't want to buy all the episodes or whatever. But uh, I thought it was a really cool story for them to come back around because they were, Square Enix was trying to sell them, trying to sell the developer without Hitman involved. Uh, IO had to lay off a lot of people to make themselves look more financially appealing to a prospective publisher to buy them. Uh, and in the, in the end, they ended up coming to a deal with Square Enix to where they get to keep their property and be independent and continue making Hitman content, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I downloaded the first mission, which is just a tutorial mission to show you like the nuts and bolts of the game. It's really fucking fun. Really fun and creative. And uh, I used to hate the Hitman games. Never liked him. <laughs> I um, never got into him either. It was one of those things where, like, I always say, like, I don't need a video game to hold my hand and guide and guide me exactly where I need to go. But it was one of those things with the old Hitman games where it was like, "What do I do? Here you are. <laughs> Figure, Figure it out." out. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's, that's, and that's not fun. That's just not fun, uh, especially in a game like the old Hitman games that had like really severe fail states. It's like, oh, you got spotted. It's over. Like, oh, they caught you. You're done. Like, oh, you die with one shot because you're real squishy. You're done. Like, uh, and this game has all that stuff also, but it rewards creativity and rewards you playing the game the way you want to play the game, not necessarily the way they are telling you to play the game, which is I think right. really cool. It's a really cool like middle ground. Like it's a fine line you have to walk. Do I show them where everything is, or do I show them where nothing is? And then there's like that fine line where it can feel like you're being like handheld too much, or it can feel like you're not getting enough information. And this game kind of like really walks that line, and in a really impressive way. And uh, I'm really excited for them to make more of it, so I can play more of it. <laughs> and it's one of those things where now that it's like thirty bucks or forty bucks or whatever, I'll probably get it because it's cheaper now. And, really get into it even though i've watched people play it and like watch the solutions and how the easiest ways to get through these levels are the the stupid let's just blow everything up and try and get away with it like they did some really insane crazy and funny stuff on giant bomb when they played through that game so uh, i'm really excited about that and good for them being able to buy themselves back from square enix and become an independent studio again yeah that's that's pretty impressive yep um, or do you have any interest in the Hitman game at all, Rick? Have you watched no, any I've, of the new I've stuff? I've played uh, some of the games. I don't remember which ones. Like, I think I played the first one. I know I played the first one, played some of the second, 
Okay. Um, back in the early days. Uh, but I've never interested me. Like, I, I don't know. I just didn't like controls. Right. Um, I never, yeah, it never, didn't really hit me. So, I saw uh, it didn't really hit me. I watched the movie. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. I didn't like it. Um, I don't like Timothy Olyphant. I just watched it from you, Agudis. Oh, that's the second? No, that's, Wait. she's uh, Max Payne. Oh, with Max Mark Payne. I'm mixing that up. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Uh, I just the movies that I watch Isaac Amelia Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, that, that franchise is their IP and already interest me. You should check out the free mission. It's pretty dope. Just it's definitely a little bit more if I had time, accessible. I well, fucking stop playing Zelda and play <laughs> something else. Oh, it's all about Zelda. Zelda's a terrible game. I have no idea. I haven't played it, so I don't know. I just like getting under people's skin. Um, Button pusher. Yeah. So you haven't been gaming a lot recently, huh, Brian? You just not have the time? Right now, yeah. Not is, really have the time. Do you see things that interest you? or is Because just... I'll still catch myself going on Twitch and watching people play games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the middle of the night. It's like, oh, it's midnight. I should really go to bed. But wait, this person's playing Yeah, there's times where, Twitch. like, I think yeah. I was playing... What was I playing? Oh, yeah. I, would jump, I see you're on, and I jumped I was on. playing uh, the zombie one. Left 4 Dead? Yeah, I was playing yeah. Left 4 Dead, and he jumped on and was watching me play watching Left 4 Dead. And hanging out and stuff. But yeah, I'll do that with a lot of franchises that I used to play before. Yeah. So either Resident, Resident Evil 7 came out, watch a lot of people yeah. playing that. That seemed like, I um, haven't played that either. That seemed like a lot of fun. What was the other one? Shoot, can't remember. But Oh, Metal Gear. When Metal Gear came out. Which five, one? Five. five. The one you hate? I was watching people play that. Just out of curiosity. Oh, okay. I can't play that game. It's really good for about... It's really good for just, about just, six hours. Mm. And then you see... Where it fell victim to uh, the cutting room floor uh, and the developer being, or not the developer, the publisher being shitbags to Kojima. Because, like, the first eight hours of that game, there's terrible. like, here's all these fucking missions. Go, 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 go do it. And then they start trickling them out one at a time. And it's like, here's where you fucked up. Did you guys talk about the trailer for Kojima's new game? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. No, Death Stranding. Death Stranding. The weird ass fucking. That was weird. <laughs> Guillermo del Toro. With the baby. Yes. And, yeah. God, and still CG Daryl. Yeah. From yeah. What? I, it's a real game. It, it looks like a Metal Gear game. It does. Stop whispering. Spoilers. Yeah. So Mike Spoilers. can't pick you up if you whisper. It looks <laughs> like a Metal Gear game. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the other thing I want to bring up real quick before we get into the next story is like I was saying earlier, there's a ridiculous sale going on on PSN. Um, like I said, with Shadow Mordor being four dollars, I think Mad Max is super cheap. Far Cry Four is super cheap, and these are all really good games. Uh, so if you have some extra funds and some free time, what about the Steam Summer Sale? I didn't even said mention that. I don't. I don't play PC games, so um, I don't know. I know I Bryce would probably know more about that. Huh? I know Xbox is having like a ridiculous sale right now too. So. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff to check out there also. I just If you play on PC or Xbox or PlayStation or whatever, check out their digital stores because there's sales going on right now. Ridiculous yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like I said, Shadow of Mordor Game of the Year Edition for $4. What the fuck? That's ridiculous. But yeah. All right. Let's move on to the, the last gaming story. Something that I think we can all get excited about, even though we won't be able to buy one because fuck Nintendo. <laughs> um... The SNES Classic Edition was uh, formally announced, and it's going to only have 21 games, not 31, I think is what was on the... 21 games. I think 31 or 30 was on the NES NES Classic, and it's also $20 more, um, which was expected because they can do that. They Um, saw the response from the first one. And they're adding in a second controller, and hey, the cables for the controllers, instead of three feet long, they're five feet long now. (laughs) fucking jerks uh but the games list is what's interesting um i completely missed this generation of console uh i did yep i played i mean i i played these games at friends houses and stuff like that for the majority of these games at friends houses but i I never had a genesis i never had an snes i had a nintendo entertainment system and a sega master system all the way until N64. You want to hear my timeline? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> NES. Uh-huh. No SNES. Nothing. No Genesis. Uh-huh. 
Panasonic 3DO. Oh, you had a 3DO? So expensive. Because I wanted a PlayStation, but they were sold out. We went to Good Guys. Oh, <laughs> no. That's, that's aging it right there. Oh, good you guys. Got roped into buying a 3DO. I was so like, I wanted something. So like, there's yeah. a 3DO. I got that thing. Sure, you would have been better off getting a Sega Saturn. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> that thing was a piece of yeah. And then from there, it was Nintendo 64, GameCube, PS4, mm-hmm. um, et cetera, and all yeah. that. So um, so let's run down this list a little bit. I don't think I'm going to go over all of them because they're not all of them Just are worth it. Most of the heavy hitters. Uh, Donkey Kong Country. Love that yes. game. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people's first RPGs were Earthbound and Final Fantasy III. I think that's cool that those are both on there. Those are long games. That's rad. F. Fucking zero. I'm fucking excited yes. for F Zero. Yes, please. I played that so much. Like I think I probably broke it because I uh, played so much. Kirby's Dream Course, the first mini golf game that they did. They did before Mario Golf. I remember that. It's a great yeah. game. It's a great game. Kirby Superstar is all right. Uh, Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. Yeah. People love that game. Um, I love that. What Mega Man X? Yeah, yeah. I played that a well, lot. Mega Man X Two is so much better. I, or anyway, um, Secret of Mana, another long game. Uh, Star Fox and yes. the previously Unreleased. never released officially Star Fox that's 2, too, huh? which is pretty fucking insane. That's worth that's the why, price. That's, that's worth the price alone. Yeah. alone. So the cool thing is though, like it's not unlocked. Out. You have to play the first level of Star Fox One to unlock Star Fox, Fox 2, Two. Yeah, which will take. We probably do a blindfold to be honest because it's like yeah. so much as a kid. Uh-huh. Um, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting, which is the version of the game you want. Um, let's see. Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Um, Mario Kart. The best Mario Kart. Fight me. I don't care what you say. I, 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 I can go with that. I'm fine with that. So I subscribe to the theory that your first Mario Kart, you're always going to think is the best. Best one? Yeah. And that's like I that. I don't think it's the best. You don't think it's the best Mario Kart? I mean, it's great, but I don't you think like it's the You like 64 best. better? 64 is garbage compared to SNES. I like, I like, 64. I like Mario Kart 64, but you know what the better kart racer on 64 is? Diddy Kong Racing. Again, Diddy fight Kong me. Racing. Um, Mario Kart, like Mario RPG, which is a, a big one, uh, Mario World, Super Punch Out, which is pretty dope. And uh, Yoshi's Island, which I actually really enjoy Yoshi's Island. I'm one of the few people that really Yoshi likes Island. Yoshi's Island is fun. I like Yoshi's yeah. Island. Um, so yeah, there. I mean, there's Super Metroid, which is fine. A lot of people really like that one. Uh, Super Castlevania 4, which is not very good. Um, but yeah, man, there's some heavy hitters on this fucking thing. There are some things missing. Well, I was going to say, you can't make everyone happy with this list. Uniracers is not on here. That pisses me off. Because that's a great game, especially it, it really showed off the power of, SNES. of the SNES that was considered underpowered compared to the Genesis. Um, but yeah, Uniracers, uh, Act Racer is pretty dope. Fuck, I'm excited um, for this. I want one of these because I, like I said, I missed mo- a lot of these games. Like I didn't have a lot of these games my uh, to call my own. Mm-hmm. I played them other places. Yeah. Um, I really, really love Donkey Kong Country. And that was a lot of fun. That was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. And F Zero. That was such a pretty game at its time too. Yeah. And Donkey Kong it. Country two and three. Three gets short shrift from people. But two and three are really, really good also. Um, in 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 a time where Nintendo very rarely put out more than one of its mainline franchises for one console, mm-hmm. you had three Donkey Kong Country games that are really fucking good. Uh, but yeah, man, SNES Classic Edition. Um, yeah, I, I definitely want to throw the two Star Fox games, F-Zero, Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario Kart, uh, Mario World. Mario World, that, that's a banger. Yeah, yeah, and Yoshi's Island. Fuck yeah, I want this. Yeah, I, um, I wish it wasn't $80. I'm gonna be one to complain about that. I'm kind of upset about that too, but I you, put some money away. Here you knew it was gonna be more expensive. Um, so the other thing about this is they said, "Look, we're gonna make sure we manufacture enough of these for people to buy, but we're only doing it through the holiday season. Mm-hmm. After the holiday, done." The one I'm really interested to see is if they do a N64, but I don't think they will. Because a lot of those games no, don't I was going to N64. hold up. There's three games that hold up. Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Mario 64, 
and, I did not like Mario and all the wrestling games. But they, they won't get the licenses. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I had trouble with Mario 64. Mm-hmm. I couldn't get through it. Yeah? Same here. Uh, it that. was like, well, I mean, it was like one of the first, you know, three-dimensional games. That and... game was fucking mind-blowing for me. It was, it was good. I mean, yeah. yeah, I don't take that away from it at right, all. Right, but right. like, I just couldn't function in that world. Which um, is weird. I need to go from left to right. Yeah. <laughs> Occasionally, I go back for something. Uh, Wave Race would Wave have to Race? be on there. Oh, yeah, Wave Race. Wet Tricks is a fucking amazing game. These are all the games I own, by the way. I have my N64 and these games still. Uh, but Wet Tricks, if you've never played Wet Tricks, it's amazing. It's a very zen-like experience. Uh, Tetrisphere is awesome. Um, I don't think they'll do an N64 version like this, though. Because I just don't think those games, again, to fill out, like this this only has 21 games. Like They could have easily put 40 games on this SNES thing, and they didn't. Yeah. Um, they could have easily put 100 games on the NES, NES one, one yeah. but they didn't. Um, I think when you get to N64, it starts to get dicey. Yeah. I think it's. I think you have a lot harder of a the time. Feels a little thin. You have a lot harder of a time finding twenty games that they can make sure they can get the licenses to, to put on that thing, and I could probably name five or ten, and they're all first party. But like after that, there's not much else I'd want to play. Everybody would want them to do GoldenEye. They won't. Everybody would want them to do Perfect Dark. They they won't. They can't. Um, but. You, know, you get your Mario's and your Zelda's and mm-hmm. your Mario Golf. Uh, but this looks cool. This is something yeah. that I would consider buying. I want it. Even I know I Fox. want it. Just because you Star didn't get Fox. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking Star Fox, two. Shit, yeah. Yeah. I think uh-huh. it's crazy that they're because like that game was one hundred percent finished. Like it was completely done. They just said no, we're not putting it out. It wasn't released in Japan though. No. It has well, never been Japan. released. Hmm. They had it's CES that year in nineteen ninety five. You could play the entire game on the show floor. It was one hundred percent done, yeah. but N sixty four was coming out and Star Fox sixty four was coming out, and they didn't want to. I mean, why would you buy an N sixty four for Star Fox when you can play it on your SNES and? It's a different game, but I think it's really cool. Uh, I'm sub- so the NES Classic was real heavy on RPGs. They had a lot of like long RPGs on that thing. This has like three yeah. or four of them. I'm surprised they didn't try to get more because that's something that a lot a lot of people that were deep into the Super Nintendo played it because of those long Japanese style RPG games. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's some there's some bangers on there, man. There's Earthbound and Final Fantasy three and Secret of Mana and Mario RPG is a very good one of those. Uh, but yeah, I, this thing is super dope. Um, I think the the Japanese version looks. I, I like the controllers for that one, but I don't like the way the console looks. I like I like the controllers for Japan, but I want the American console. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. So the cool thing about this is like the front of it looks like the old like 16 pin or whatever controller things that's just like a front facing facade that flips down and you plug in your um classic controller pro or whatever for wii wii u or whatever Mm -hmm. so it's going to come with those two controllers it's going to support the classic controller the classic controller pro for wii uh, and wii u since that has that uh, weird port port thing remember when we got that but that box dude Looks so cool. Box I'm glad that like they've the got the boxes wow. right. Yeah. Retro. I remember staring at that at Toys R Us. We were looking, wanting around, it, looking the back. Wanting it so <laughs> bad. But having to deal with 8-bit NES for a long time. 10 years. Yep. But hey, man. I think I yeah. think if they make enough of these for people to get their hands on, that's great. I hope so. Because I really want it. Um, I, do, I don't mind the limited time frame that they're selling it for i think yeah, that's cool that's smart yeah. as long that's as, fine as there's enough as fucking long as there's enough for everybody which systems. there won't be because it's nintendo there you go sneaker mm-hmm. so, yeah. um is that it uh b- 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 uh, it. yeah um i've been playing through sleeping dogs again if you guys haven't played that you should check it out it's a pretty cool game 
uh, that is an open world crime, Hong Kong crime game. Uh, a lot of heavy hitters in it. Danny Day Kim is in it. Lucy Liu is in it. Does a voice for it. Emma Stone does a voice for it. Hmm. Uh, it's a really cool game. It's an awesome story. I've been playing through that. And I bought Shadow of Mordor the other night, so I'm going to start playing through that. And I got a wild hair up my ass and felt like playing a driving game, so I re-downloaded Drive Club, which is a game I'd had before. I'd purchased digitally, so I just re-downloaded and started playing that last night because I'm itching for a driving game, and who the fuck knows when Gran Turismo is coming out. It's supposed to be this year, but it was also supposed to be last fall, and then it was supposed to be February, and then it was supposed to be August, and then they're like... Fuck it, I don't know, 2017. So I need something to play until then. So I've been kind of killing my time with that. Well, I've been playing Breath of the Wild still. How are you digging it? Digging it a lot. Uh, I totally understand what Bryce is saying, how you want to go do, go do these mm-hmm. missions and you get sidetracked into something completely different. Like, all right, I'm going to this tower, right, to like unlock the map in the area I'm in because mm-hmm. like, I don't know where I'm going right now. Right. And... Uh, I see, like, all these apple trees. Like, all right, I got to get all these apple trees. And I accidentally throw a bomb. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. You, and this was, it would have saved me a lot of time. I threw a bomb, and it blew down the trees. I'm like, what? But doesn't, so then, it, doesn't it damage the apples? No. No? No. And then, so I went around and started picking them up. And then, like, I guess you can get bundles of wood, too, mm-hmm. every time you keep blowing up the trees. So I, I, like, I fucking cleared a shit ton of trees. Then awesome. I come and then I'm gonna build a parking lot. It's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like, oh my god! <laughs> he went a long way yeah, for that joke. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I totally got sidetracked doing that and uh, trying to figure out what things to make when cooking. Because apparently, you can make very disgusting things that you won't like, yeah. or he won't like. Uh, they really should have a recipe book. And I'm not saying give you the recipe book, but when you figure out a recipe, save it for you. I think there's something in there for that. I just, I, I, I haven't looked. I, I just like to cook whatever the shit I want. Yeah. <laughs> so like, just toss it all in. Yeah. Um, uh, Cause yeah, it does show like a book, but I, I didn't ever click. I didn't click. I didn't want to read. Pfft, read. Um, but for the most part, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I love trying to sneak up on horses and tame the horses. Nice. That's a lot of fun. I still can't find a stable yet for some reason. Really? Yeah. yeah I don't know where I'm going. So, yeah, it, it's just. There's open towns world, that have man. stables, man. There's towns yeah. that have stables. Even I know that. I haven't played the damn game. Um, I'm, I don't know where I'm at right now. I'm just fucking exploring it, and it's it's really cool. Yeah, because the place I'm at right now, since I finally got the glider, it's it's uncharted until you find. Yeah. The tower. Yeah. So. Like, like, kind of like a Ubisoft game, except it doesn't populate it with 50,000 things when you climb the tower like it does in Assassin's Creed or whatever. Um, Fuck. I tried... I have Assassin's Creed maps and all that. Like, Syndicate, which was the last Assassin's Creed that came out before the one that's coming out this year. And I really like the setting, because it's like Industrial Revolution London. Mm-hmm. And it's just like... Too much to do. It's too much. It's too fucking much. And you want to do all that too. I want to do it all, yeah. yeah. But yeah, like I can I understand why people were talking about Zelda being kind of a peaceful experience because it's like I don't have to go there yet. Like if I want to, I can, but I don't have to. But when you see that marker on your map, it's like I have to fucking get there. <laughs> you know, it's it's that whole like carrot on a stick thing. You want to go there because there's a, a, yeah, a waypoint yeah. on your map. Yeah. Yeah, like, I, I, my intention is going to that point, but I end up doing some yeah. other stuff. Um, and then trying to find uh, ruins or caves? Shrines. Or shrines, there you go. Um, and uh, I find it hard to find shrines. Don't you, At least for myself. Doesn't it fucking beep when you get It does, yeah. but for some reason, like, I'm, I'm just in the middle of nowhere right now, apparently. So I finally found one. Like, like I, I don't, I stop playing when I find a shrine. Or I finish the shrine and then stop playing. Mm-hmm. Um, are you going health or are you going stamina? Health. Rookie mistake. Health. <laughs> like, well, I've only gotten one. Oh, okay. So, like, like I just You have time to course I've got time. Yeah, I've got time. deep into it. So, because apparently you have to collect four before you can... Here, here's why, I, uh, again, just, I know this from hearing people talk about the game and stuff like that, and it's like, 
The health, I guess, could come in handy, but you need to be able to climb longer. You need to be able to run longer. That's true. That's true. And that you come into contact with enemies that basically one shot you. No matter, yeah, I've no got matter them how them many hearts you have, you're still gonna get one shot by that enemy. So it's I'm one only, of those. I'm, you know what I mean? I it's only have like, five hearts right now. Okay. I would say... Because you start off with four, and I finally got the one. But apparently you have to have four orbs mm -hmm. before you, you can, can level up. Yeah. Level up. I think that's what it is. That takes forever. <laughs> it takes us so long. Oh, poor Rick. I'm glad you're digging it, but, though. But I love it. I love it, yeah. It's, it's a calming experience playing that game. Yeah. The music's perfect. Like, I think they're going to be doing something at the Rose Bowl for... The Zelda Breath of the Wild music. Really? Yeah. Um, you mean the Hollywood Bowl? Or the Rose Bowl? Rose Hollywood Bowl. Series. Yeah, <laughs> Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. yeah. Getting confused. Um, but yeah, they're going to be doing like a Zelda concert? Whole concert, concert for yeah. it. They yeah. did that for the 25th anniversary of Zelda, I think, too. They, they did, yeah. I know they're, out. yeah, they started, I think, on the East Coast. That's awesome. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I got. I'm glad you're liking it, dude. I'm glad you're, I'm glad people are loving that game as much. As they are. Oh, I, I forgot, totally forgot to mention. I got Mario Kart 8. Oh, you got it? it? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, definitely more things to do with the Deluxe compared to the Wii U version. Mm -hmm. More options, more things, more maps. It's not as good as the best Mario Kart, though. That's Super no, Mario yeah, Kart. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got these weird chuds that say Double Dash is the best. Fuck you. Double, Double Dash, Dash is Dash. terrible. Oh, Double Dash is fun. Double Dash is Double Dash terrible. Is fun. I'm yeah. talking about. Double Dash is a pretty game. It is terrible. It's a fun game. No, it's not. And then they added that shit into Mario Kart 8 I Deluxe. Double Dash was... Game that was Mario? Yeah. That was GameCube. Oh, GameCube. Yeah, okay. No, yeah, I never played Double Dash. They yeah. added the... Like, that shit into oh, okay. Double Dash shit. Switch drivers and stuff. When the shooter, You're failing, the bros. You're failing. I think the only other Mario Kart that's as good as Super was Mario, the first Mario Kart on DS. Mario Kart DS. That is an amazing fucking Mario Kart. 7 on 3DS is good. Yeah. That one's, that one's to be fair, good. I didn't play a lot of that. But Mario Kart DS was great because it was like playing online against people in Japan. 7 like, Excite oh, Bike Mario Matt. Kart. I know. I played it, played it at Bryce's house when he got it. I think. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. he did. On the Wii U. Yeah. So. On that paperweight of a system. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. I I kind of want to switch. Mario Odyssey looks dope. Yeah. Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle looks really badass. I'm not a big strategy game guy, but that looks super fun. Um. In 10 years when that Metroid game comes out, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> in 12 years when that Pokemon, Pokemon game, game comes, comes out, out, that's going to be yeah. awesome. But yeah, I'm glad you're digging the Switch, man. I'm glad you're playing some sort of video games. Yeah. Um, he I, said he played all the way through his lunch break the other day and didn't eat lunch. A few lunches. Really? A few lunch breaks, yeah. <laughs> that's great. Uh, Got a banger on your hands, Nintendo. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Yeah, I'm back. All right, so that's it? Yep. All right. So there you have it. That's for that's it for this week's show. Uh, be sure to catch us uh, next week, same time, same channel. And um, you can catch the audio of this on Tuesdays. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we put clips up and uh, on YouTube. And Friday, we put the whole show up as one big video file for you to not watch if you don't want to. Yes. <laughs> and uh, if you just want little tiny clips, just watch little tiny clips. Uh, we also put some exclusive stuff on Facebook. So... Uh, there's some other stuff we can talk about on there. So, yep. Uh, like us on Facebook. Uh, Bryant, thank you for being on the show, for Anytime. filling Bryce's shoes. I know he had ginormous shoes. <laughs> um, I'm the one with big feet here. So, yeah, um, until next time. That was some shit we like. Mm -hmm.